Uh, <clears throat> the Ancient Greeks by Mr. Amster. Before you begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. Key vocabulary. Peninsula. A piece of land that is bordered by water on three sides. The island of Greece. Now, nah, rather, the, uh, the country of Greece is a peninsula. Notice how it is covered by water on one, two, three sides. Settlement. A small community or village. The Greek civilization was set up with many small settlements or city-states. Merchant. A person who makes money by selling goods. Because of the lack of farmland, many Athenians became merchants. Oracle. A person who tells the future often in the form of a riddle. Please make note, the most famous oracle was located at Delphi, D-E-L-P-H-I. City-state. As the settlements developed, they became their own small independent countries, very similar to Sumer each with its own laws and government. Agora, a marketplace in ancient Greece. Although similar to a bazaar, it had many different characteristics and was only open to certain people. Helots, Spartan slaves, from nearby areas. The Spartans, as they became more and more powerful, conquered their neighboring lands, forcing them to farm and provide all of their stable food supply for them. And despite the fact that they greatly outnumbered the Spartans, the Spartans ruled them with fear and maintained their control. Probably one of the toughest words we'll have all year. Perio Kio. A Spartan free, non citizen of Sparta. Someone who's not a slave, but still not a Spartan citizen. Hellespont. The long, narrow body of water between Europe and Asia located in present-day Turkey. This was the way, the spot, that Xerxes used to come at Greece in revenge of his father, Darius. Golden Age, a period of peace and wealth. After defeating the Persians, Athens experienced a very successful golden age and was considered to be the most powerful civilization city-state in the known world until the Spartans defeated them in the Peloponnesian War but we'll talk about that later and lastly an Acropolis the hill above the city <clears throat> in Athens where temples were built Only a certain people in ancient times got to attend meetings in the Acropolis. Please take a moment and highlight all of your vocab words. No underlining or circling. If you are not up to date at this point, because I talk too fast, 
please pause the video at this time. Otherwise, we're moving on. The mainland of Greece is a peninsula with small little islands around it. So here is Greece, and there's the little islands around it. Even on this map, you can sort of see it. However, in many ways, ancient Greek city-states were all islands because they were isolated. If you look closely enough at Greece, it looks as if someone smashed it with a hammer. The topography, or physical features, is mostly mountains. The easiest way to travel was by boat. Even some of the islands were mountain peaks. But Greece was not an easy place to live. Only one-fifth of Greece is good enough for growing crops. Instead, the Greeks became traders and sailors. They set out to explore the Mediterranean. Learning from the Phoenicians, they were able to set up markets throughout the entire Mediterranean Sea. They founded colonies in Spain, France, and Egypt. Please take a moment and highlight Land of Greece, Looks, Hammer, Smashed it, excuse me, Topography Mountains, Easiest Way to Travel, Boat, One Fifth of Greece, Good Growing Crops, Became Sailors, Traders. If you are not done, please pause the video. Otherwise, let's finish up. The mountains separated the small settlements. The topography made it difficult for people from different communities to get together. And unfortunately, they were too busy fighting to realize that, despite some, some differences, they had a similar heritage, the same gods, and the same language. And because of this, each of those communities became their own country with unique customs and beliefs. They believed that their own land, traditions, and way of life were the best and they were willing to go to war to protect it. Please take a moment and highlight Too Busy Fighting, Similar Heritage, Same Gods, Language. Each community, unique customs and beliefs. go to war, willing, go to war, protect itself. Before you end the video, please let's take a look at the maps on the first page. Here is a map of ancient Greece. Here's the Peloponnesian area. Sparta is right here. Mount Olympus is right there. Here is Delphi. Here is Macedonia, and when we'll learn about Alexander the Great, that's where he comes from. Here's Crete, where the Minoans were. And over here, 
is where the city of Troy was. Now let's look at it from today's perspective. Here's Greece. It's located in Europe. It is east of Italy. Here's Spain where it would trade with France and Egypt. Okay, over here is Israel. Thank you for watching. The end.